is a first class that vibes. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna do those cuts. This is my right hand man, Young Sun Dalil. For our first guest, I wish you guys give him a round of applause. Make him feel at home. Introduce the technique. Who inspired you to become Who inspired a me? Me, myself. Oh, all right. Yeah, I, th I feel like I feel like in, in the barber game or just becoming a barber, you don't get that inspiration just seeing somebody else. Cause something, something inside of you sparked that. You know what I'm saying? Something inside of you told you like this is something I wanted to do. You woke up and made a decision. Where did the name technique come about? Oh, that's crazy. Um. All right. So it was at one point. Uh, um. My career, I started doing like a whole lot of like like house calls, shitload of them, and I had this one client that he was like more of a friend, became more of a friend because we kind of had like similar goals and shit. Like with me, it was barbering. With him, it was more like fashion. And he was just like, "Yo, bro, how you how you just do it? Like how you just fade them out like that? And how you just take your steps? And somehow sometimes I see you don't do the same things for everybody. <clears throat> so I just like I don't know. It's like everybody got their own technique." And then he was like, what you say, bro? He was like, damn, because he already know my name is Neek. He was like, say it again, bro. And then we was just sitting there, honestly, just smoking, <laughs> busting it up, regular time shit. And he was like, damn, but how would you incorporate that? So I just put freshness. At first, it was supposed to be T-E-K, but I ain't like that. So I just added, read the regular way it was spelled was T-E-C-H. Just added my name, N-W-E-K. So was DSG your first um, barbershop you ever worked at? Nope, it wasn't. No. I had like other barbershops that I, I kind of like started out with and dipped and dab. And to be honest, it never really worked out. So I caught myself like, as any any young barber at the time, or you know, when you first start, you don't know when you're really going to last long in the, in the barbershop or if this is going to be the first and last barbershop that you might, you know what I'm saying, be at. You just got to see where the vibes are, you know what I'm saying? And, the vibe. Yeah, the vibe. <laughs> you gotta just. <coughs> where you learn like where you learn your techniques at, or how like how you get into making your techniques? To be honest, bro, um, in my eyes, at, like I, I I learn from like fucking niggas up. <laughs> I, I like I didn't really like a specific style. I didn't like a specific barber, and nobody ever like. You know, took the time out and be like, hey, this is the proper way to do it. This is that. No, no one ever taught me. I just had to learn from my own mistakes. Oh, don't feel no type of way. No, nah, you can ask me whatever. Listen, before anything, don't don't even mention that. If y'all think I'm going to feel some type of way, I'm not. I'm going to take something as well as like, you know what I'm saying? But just prepare for the answer that you guys get because it might be the realest shit you probably ever heard <laughs> about the situation, want. but I'll address it because everybody that's probably involved in the situation is here. Mm -hmm. So, you know. My question is, what made you tattoo your face? My, my head? Yeah, your head. Um, I, uh, it started with the bald head. A lot of people don't know. Uh, my mom, she suffered from cancer and shit. So, um, long story short, <clears throat> I just shaved my head, just um, kind of sat back and thought about what I want to do with this barber shit. You know, everybody think about their own ways of tatting their body with a barber pole or a clipper or whatever, a fucking blade and shit. And I'm just like, damn, what do I love the most? And just incorporated it with the blade in, as a V. Mm -hmm. What is that you're using right now? This is a four clothes going down with the green. I got another question. So yes, for all your cuts, do you use enhancements for all of them or are you like only on certain types? Um to be honest, uh it might look like, you know, just on Instagram, all my cuts is probably like, you know, enhanced the fuck out. Mm -hmm. And um that's just cause that's what I wanna see on my Instagram. So I would have to say like eighty percent of the time I'm using enhancements, twenty percent. Mm -hmm. A lot of my clients don't like mm -hmm. it. To me, the purpose for enhancements is to get that photo finish haircut. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can go into a car wash, get your car cleansed, regular shit, unless you can go to the other car wash where they detail, wax, mm -hmm. you get the whole nine yards. So 
that's the difference what sets a part of a, a regular standard haircut mm -hmm. and you know boosting your prices using you all know, your tools. <coughs> In the beginning, when you first started becoming a barber, what were some of the obstacles that you had to go through? We all have bad habits. For myself, I still got them. I learn every day from it. <laughs> giving away all the negativity, giving away all the nonsense and the distractions. The fucking distractions, meaning little situations that might occur in your life that you don't know how to deal with at the time, but if you was to take, take a step back and visualize yourself and approach it again, that will be like, you know what I'm saying? So decision making, like getting rid of all bad habits, bro. Uh, For real. Like, what are, what are you best at? What am I best at? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. Everybody has a favorite cut. A favorite cut? My favorite cut. My favorite haircut, my favorite hair to deal with, period, is curly hair. Like, my thing is like a crazy curly top with like a low fade, something simple like that. I don't know. Uh, uh, crispy genie. Yeah. As not, I'm not talking to technique, I'm talking to, you know, just uh, being a barber fan. How was it cutting her? Like, were you intimidated, nervous at all? Uh, no, I don't know. It was regular to me. I just, I just knew, like, I just knew once she, once she sat down, like, I was like, she, first she called me, she was like, I want you to cut my hair, and right then and there, I knew she did something with her hair anyways, because she was talking about that shit, remember? She was like, yeah, I'm gonna do something with my hair, and then when I seen the green, I was like, oh, fuck, went and got green kissed, so I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna kill this shit, like, I ain't no bitch, like, I, <laughs> I'm gonna grab this joint and just go in. What are the main struggles you had while being a, a first-time owner? Main struggles? Um... <clears throat> The main struggles of being the first time on, um, hmm. keeping a steady timing, like on a, on a, on a hours with people, and um, just just setting the, the vibe a better like a better environment, setting the vibe at a better pace, and um, I think I would I would like give more a little bit more attention to barbers. Biggest mistake? Yeah. Getting that drone before you get anything, like as far as paperwork, everything. Like, sometimes you, you, you might find yourself like, damn, it's a crazy ass opportunity. But like, just getting it all the way situated before you do anything. But, you know, as, as, as a barber and as having a dream and that opportunity right in front of you, you got no other chance but to what? Go with your gut and do whatever you want to do. So that that's another advice I would put that in there for young barbers. Go with your gut feeling, just do whatever you feel like is best for you, that's it. Advice for uh, barbers trying to learn how to feed and like... Yeah. Um, controlling the feed. Learn, learning how to break it down and manipulate it before you attack. You don't have people that randomly they used to fuck with you and they're not fuck with you no more because you're probably on a, a level where they can't reach or they not know how the fuck you did it and then they'll probably just hate you for it. Or it could be vice versa, you might get people that's more attracted to you. You feel me? And then you carry your following however you carry it, but just do it in a positive way. But me, personally, I don't know. Who's your top five? In the top five, right I, in, 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 in Philly, no order. Wait, he include himself. No order. He can include himself. You can do whatever you want. No, I'm in, in order. I'm in there. I'm in there. I'm, in there. I'm, in there. <laughs> I'm not trying to be. Cocky. I'm not trying to be cocky, bro. I don't. I don't put myself as the best. I give that shit to Genie though. I give. I give number one to Genie though. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. It's her. Miss. Like Miss. Yeah, he's just inconsistent as fuck. What is it about I business? tell him to his face. What is it about business cuts? <coughs> Fucking clean. Patty don't count. Yeah, you don't. You're not here. Ears. Right. Ears. Now, now that's that's a good one. Like I think that's a good. I one. I, I, I say ears. This is my reason why, because I ain't never seen a piece. I never seen a person. I mean, until. I was the next one after him that did it. Like after he left DSG, I don't care how he did it. He did it. He got his own. So forth. Like, the nigga did it. You know what I'm saying? And I had to give it to him, bro. He, he's, he was he was a lot of niggas' favorite barbers before we was barbers, bro. We gotta give it to him. He like the, he kind of like mediocre OG in the shit. You feel me, bro? Kind of like. Because <laughs> it was hard. I seen a lot of people cut, bro. It's fine. 
Alright. I go with back Phil. Out. I go with Phil. Phil, who's Phil? Phil Phil's barbershop. Enlightenment. Phil. Exactly. You know, and Bristol Pike. I stopped paying attention to Philly when everybody started feuding, bro. I'm keeping it being, bro. I don't even want to say no more names. I just, just I, I clear that out with three. That's it. Me, Genie, and Ears. Fuck it.